What's up everyone, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you some battery saving tips for the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS. So when I first got my iPhone 3G about a year ago, it was well known that the battery was not fantastic. On the first day I used it, I charged it all the way up, I took it off the charger around 6am, and come noon time, the thing was dead. The next week, with the same amount of usage, now I was getting till 3 o'clock. The next week, even with the same amount of usage, then I was suddenly getting to 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and I started to get much longer battery life out of the device. And I kept my usage constant, so I really was monitoring it very closely. So I want to share with you some of the tips that I learned with the 3G that I've carried over to the 3GS that have helped me maximize battery life. The 3GS does claim much better battery life than the 3G, and I'll show you how to maximize that to its fullest potential. So the first thing that I recommend is calibrating the battery. So with calibrating the battery, you might be familiar with that term from uh, your laptop. So when you use your device, essentially you have a memory meter in the upper right hand corner. Either you're displaying the number or a visual representation. But that visual representation might not always be so accurate. Essentially what the phone needs is a reference point. And what calibrating does, it gives it an accurate reference point. It updates it. So the reference point that was in there where the phone was shipped was accurate, but a few days or weeks or even months later, that reference point may have shifted. So while your phone says you have 20% battery left, you in fact may have 30, 40% or even 10% left. So to calibrate your battery and give you a more accurate sense of what you have, it's very easy to do. First, back up your phone just in case. Use it until it dies. Wait till you get the 20% warning, the 10% warning, and then the thing will just shut off. Take your phone, Plug it into the wall and let it sit for a good 8, 9, 10 hours, up to 12 hours if you can. Essentially what this does, it brings the battery down to zero. And from that zero standpoint, it establishes new reference points back up to 100%. These new battery technologies don't really have memory, or at least you're not supposed to. But I have found that battery conditioning can also really help lengthen the life of the battery. And what all that means is just use your phone. You'll see that the first day you use your 3GS or your new 3G, that your battery life isn't going to be fantastic. Don't get discouraged. Keep using the phone, use it, charge it like you normally would, and your battery life will increase. I've had the 3GS now for, well, exactly a week, and my battery life has already increased drastically. I expect that to continue probably the next two to three weeks. So when I was telling you about my 3G, how it would last me till noon, by the time I finally gave it to my father last week, I can get a good day, day and a half out of the battery life. That was just with conditioning and calibrating the battery probably every three or four months. So I hope that was helpful. Let me show you some other battery tips, saving tips that you can do right on the phone. So let's go ahead and take a look down. So here is the iPhone 3GS and these tips will work on the first gen iPhone and the 3G. So the first thing I can recommend and really the thing that you can do to see the biggest increase in your battery life is to change the brightness. So go to settings go to brightness and pull it all the way down or at least to a level where you're comfortable at. I will say though that while I'm saying to do this I generally keep the brightness up relatively high on my phone. It's turned down right now because the bright doesn't always show up best on the camera. But turning brightness down will definitely help with battery. Also auto brightness, turn that on. That will automatically adjust the phone's keep saying brightness a lot but it'll adjust the brightness level to optimize your battery and for the environment around you. So for those of you using uh, 3GS or any device really with push notifications, if you turn those off, you will also get increased battery life, especially if you're using devices or applications that take advantage of push. That does take some battery life. It's not drastic, but it's a little bit of an increase that you can get. The next thing is Wi-Fi. Ask to join network. Turn that off. It doesn't turn off your Wi-Fi. It just turns off the little notification that pops up to let you know there are Wi-Fi uh, hotspots. So most of the time when you're using Wi-Fi, you generally know where those hotspots are. And if you're in a place where you don't, you can always just check like I did right now and go into Wi-Fi and see all the different networks. You can still connect. It just turns off the notifications. Really just some simple steps. The next thing, if you're like me, you use speakerphone quite a bit. When you're using speakerphone, Hit the top button. That'll turn off the screen. You can still use the speaker just as you would before. Definitely, I think, helps with battery saving because you don't have to light up the screen. So guys, hope you enjoyed. I want to give you just some real simple, easy tips to help maximize your iPhone's battery life. 
If I miss some tips that maybe you've come up with, leave them in the comments. You know, I'm sure people would love to find ways to help maximize the battery life on their device. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers Put a link to that in the sidebar. And I will see you, you, in the next video. Bye-bye.